buddy, have you recovered from your heavy night of drinking? You're a little dusty. I don't know where you've been, but it looks like you had fun. Good dog. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. And today, we're going to take a trip on our old Fiat friend, the 1365. We have some more dirt piles to level over at my dad's house. I went yesterday with the deer tractor and loader and got them knocked down. But then I can use this little soil land leveler jobby here. Whatever you want to call it. Land plane. That's the word I'm looking for. You can use that to make it really more better. And I'm looking and I did not disconnect the battery last time and it didn't burn up. So I guess everything's good. We'll see if it doesn't start. I told him he had to get me some diesel fuel because I think I'm running on fumes on this, but <laughs> the only bad thing about these little foreign tractors is they are not my size. I'm much too large. It's hard to get on and off of them. That one, even more, you know? At least the Italians gave you a little more room. But anyway, we got lots of work we could be doing. We need to put more roof on this before winter. There's just so many things I should be doing, and there's only one of me. So, okay, yeah, see, we're in the red zone, so. Oh. Safety switches, yeah. Uh-oh, come on. There we go. It hadn't been running a while. We should have probably checked the Soli Vittori stick, but... It's still in the normale, so we're gonna roll with that. <laughs> one thing about it though, my steering on this one is not nearly as good as it was on that one I traded away. I kind of missed that for that reason, but oh well webs there I don't just randomly grab out in the air well, we got our stuff is charging our only trouble now is our tachometer has left the building it no longer works it made it all the way to 4.3 hours before it laid down so thanks Chinese tachometer you're doing a fine job Put our hat on the certified hat holder there. Whoop, I hit the horn. I'm trying to turn the flashers on. That is not there. There, maybe? Come on, flasher. There. It's all the way. Okay, fourth gear. city ones but I have to tell you as far as a utility tractor goes these little Fiat are probably the best
enough time to get a new filter again. Oh, it sucked that all the way shut. Interesting. All right, that's more better. We got like a half a tank now. We're not running on fumes. This thing only holds 10 gallons, but it runs a long time on that little amount. set you down. Well, that's not perfect, but that's pretty well the best I can do. There's a big hump in there, but there's no real deep ruts now, so hopefully that'll work. I'm afraid my little fuel filter is about to cause me an issue because it seems like I'm missing out a little bit. It's pretty clean in there still, so it might be time to just delete on that thing. We'll see.
Italian stallion did a pretty good job today. Can't complain, except for one thing that I forgot. Remember how that leaked? Yeah, it's still leaking. I thought we fixed it, but turns out I'm thinking of the one that left here. That's the one I fixed. So I'm going to have to get an O-ring for that. <clears throat> and looking like probably the other side, which we've never done. So that will be an adventure, I'm sure. I think they're actually, and I don't quote me on this, but I think they're two different sizes that the step, what am I trying to say? That that shaft is stepped and it's actually bigger over here than it is over there maybe. And it, if you'd have to take it out, you take it up through this way. I don't know. But what I do know is we're going to have to fix them because they're getting to the point where it's losing a significant amount of hydraulic oil every time you run it. Yeah, I really thought that I had <laughs> fixed it. And also another thing I want to do then whilst we do that is just drain this oil out again and throw it away and get new oil because the tractor sat so many years that whatever oil I put in when I ran it, I'm sure has stirred up a lot of that milkiness that was in there you know there was probably still some oil down in there in places and moisture and whatever so now that it, we've stirred it all up real good it would make sense that it's a good time to uh you know what i'm saying go ahead and uh, change her out again clean that screen that sort of thing you know but it's looking pretty snazzy like that short video i put out the other day was a well it's the day that i'm doing this it looked almost like it was on the cover of the literature there standing in front of the red building so anyway it's made a long uh, a long what do i want to say not recovery but it's kind of a resurrection i guess you'd say i mean it really it's come a long way that's what i'm trying to say from where it was because it was in baskets basically so yeah Oh, there's something else we can do to it today, which we might as well do. I know it's going to be sadness, but hey, we like sadness, and we might as well have it now. So just a second, let me go grab it, and I'll show you. All right, remember how I didn't like these screws that I put in the dash? But see, everything's metric, and this was the only thing I could find was this Allen-headed job because it's like a... Uh, tapered what do you want to say i can't think of good words today but you see what i'm talking about the head is tapered originally they were phillips head screws and the reason i didn't like these is because i was afraid that we would strip them out as we did on that one so we have to we're going to be drilling that out in a second but the other day whilst at an unfamiliar auto parts store in a different town on a whim, I saw these hanging there. It says, disc brake rotor retaining screws, help. And that's what I need, help. But I looked at the back and it has eight M6 and eight M8 screws. And this just happens to be M8. So this is exactly what I needed. So I'm gonna swap out for these I'll put a little of the anti-seizure on them again, I think, even though there's probably enough in there to last us. But hey, what's some more? I don't have any on me today, so I might as well wear some. Then we'll figure out what we're gonna do here. Cause like I said, we don't need in here now, but we might as well do it now than when we need to get in here. So yeah, let's do that. Well, if there's anything I like, it's severely making a mess with anti-seize. So let's do that. Okay, sure, and then we're going to drop that 15 times because that's, but look how nice that fits in there. And that's the original style Phillips head. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Let's do this. I'm doing it in the most inconvenient way for me too, so maybe you can see it better. Probably not though. Out 
yeah see in addition to being a goofy head style these are extremely too long they don't need to be that long to hold the dash Yep, we got it all over us. That's what we want. Yeah, these things just set up in there. I, mean, I don't know why, but I'd rather not do that thing. I'm gonna make a big mess. Yep. All right. What variety of sadness are we going to go through to get this? I predict a bunch because that's how we roll. I found a nasty, dirty rag on the platform. So let's just use that to wipe the anti seize all over everything. Yep. That, that looks snazzy. Yeah. Nothing like anti seize all over green paint. We're going to need a drill, and a drill bit, and an easy out, probably. And we're going to need some sadness. We got that. Yeah, we're on our way. How's this going to go, you ask? Well, probably not well. For one, the steering wheel's in the way. through and hit the threads that we don't want to ruin that's what my my wondering is okay well we're ready let's go get a different one of these naturally the one that it's going to be was stuck in something so sure that's not really deep enough, but we're going to try anyway. See what I said? The steering wheel is the problem. It's right in the way. Come on out of there. Oh, that is sadness. lot of sadness and I don't even know what to do to fix it man I don't really want to drill deeper because I know I'm going to end up hitting the threads so I'm going to go ahead and I regret buying these bolts. Come on. Come on. Man. This is stupid. <sighs> well, plan B and a half, which I didn't want to do, is going to be getting the torch and heating this ever so slightly. And maybe I can keep the flame down in there and not really burn the whole tractor to the ground. So I guess I'll back it up a little so that it's closer. We'll see what happens. We'll keep you back away from the sadness. I'm going to turn it. Oh, well, in theory, not down that far.
Okay, that's probably enough. We roasted the paint a little bit, but I don't really see that there's going to be much choice. So now instead of letting it cool, I'm just going to hammer it home, see? And it's going to come right out then. I wish I didn't have to do that, but such is life. Well, the dash isn't very good anyway, so eventually I'll probably repaint it. So until then, this is just a little more character that it's going to have. Oh, and we were just, just almost into those threads. I'll show you here in a second with the drilling. It's burning hot, idiot. Don't touch it. Yeah, see how close it was. I don't know if you can see that or not, but we just almost broke through, and that would have made it a lot more difficult. All right, I have none meadow green paint left, so I couldn't touch that up if I wanted to right now, but I'll get it lighter. But that looks much more better, authentic E. The originals were actually kind of domed, but... We're not going to be that particular. We at least got the right type of thing. And I think those will hold up better maybe than those Allen-headed jobs where, you know, maybe in the future we'll be able to just get them loose. Next time we got to get in there, which will be the time that we replace this brand new tachometer that does nothing. So, yeah, that'll be, that'll be the next adventure with the little feller. All right, so... I think we're gonna call that a video. We got to see the 1365 again, we got to use it and we got to fix on it. So not a whole lot more we could do on that. I don't know if I showed on that video or not, but I ended up taking that filter out uh, cause it was sucking the inside of the filter down and the tractor was starting to miss out a little. So I'd say it's time to say bye bye to that filter. We don't really need that. I should probably shorten that fuel line now at some point, make it more better, but I'm happy. We got to play with this again. These are always a joy to drive. I never knew that until I had one. And now I've got more than that. And Freddy over there. So, yeah. The little Fiat's definitely some of the best utility tractors ever made, I think. As always, if you enjoy the videos, give them a thumbs up. Leave a comment. All that stuff doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps me out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.